Greetings all, it's the Devious Monkey here. Okay, today, very strange day. I woke up, it's the last day that you can submit any deals. I pretty much figured that I wasn't gonna get any more deals. I lost the big deal for one reason or another. Okay, fine, didn't get the deal, did everything else that I needed to do. Then I had a dealer email me and ask me which mailer we were gonna be doing, and I realized that I had forgotten to do it in the first place, so I, after having some problems with our portal and getting that taken care of, I built it, sent it to him, he approved it, yay. Not only did he approve it, he sent it to a sister store and they reached out to me and said, hey, we'd like to have you do the same thing for us. So I ended up getting two deals this morning and I didn't think I was gonna get anything. So I got all that done, submitted, yippee, everything's peachy. I was getting ready to start grabbing all my gear and go into the woods because it's kind of getting sunnier out, but the rain should be done. And then I had talked to another co-worker because she needed the fix that I got for what was going on this morning. And she was like, oh, you know, I got a call like almost like right now. And then, then we had that training later in the day. And I was like, we have training today? <sighs> so yeah, I've got training in, in like a little over a half an hour, which I absolutely don't want to be on, but I, I have to. In the meantime, I have been going back and forth with this Mantis pod. Yes, I put this Ulanzi inverted ball head on here, but that's not what I wanted on here. And remember I had problems with the original ball head that came with this, and then I kept hitting that lever and it kept making the camera flop. I was watching Peter McKinnon's video yesterday where, you know, late to the game, he's talking about this thing, how it's the greatest thing since sliced bread and it was a sponsored video and so on and so forth. I will not deny that this is probably my favorite grip that I have used for any of the camera setups that I have used over the past several years. With the exception of that damn ball head, I wished that I had not gotten the pro version and I just had a normal little simple, you yeah, stick it on there and it's done version of this Mantis pod. So I thought to myself, well, I know that this, if I unloosen that and it comes off and it just leaves you with a hot shoe mount. And I thought, oh, okay, well, I'll just order the one that's for the non-pro version and put that on here. Can't do that. They don't sell the parts separately. I could order the, the other pro ball head, but I can't order the non-pro thing that goes on there. And I thought to myself last night as I was going to bed, because that's when I have my greatest thoughts after I don't want to get out of bed, that, you know what, that a Sony Bluetooth grip has basically the head on there that I would prefer. The only reason I didn't like the Sony grip is because it it's not tight, it wobbles too much. So it freaks me out and I'm thinking that it's gonna break, especially since I usually have a pretty heavy setup on it. Well, I have the Sony Bluetooth grip with the camera mounted on it right now. It indeed is the more acceptable mounting mechanism that I prefer, that I've wished was on this Mantis pod. However, comma, it's still, and you might not see this because of the stabilization, but like it just jiggles like crazy. And there's, I have found no way that I can get in there and tighten that to keep that from happening short of breaking it. And I was thinking to myself, I wish that I could get that off there and put that on there, but I can't. The only alternative that I have is to order another Mantis pod in the non-pro version to get that head. And I'm not doing that because I'm not spending a hundred bucks, you know, just because, you know, this thing's jiggly. When it gets down to it, I've changed the setup for my, for my filming rig in that I don't have the top handle on there because I have to keep taking it off anyways when I put it in the Forerunner, which sucks because I liked having a handle to grab at the top, but okay, fine. I also have now mounted all that cotton carrier shit on there, so I can't mount it in the direct center. And right now, this rig is so heavy that it's literally tilting on this Sony Bluetooth grip. I don't know if I feel confident enough to pick this thing up and walk around with it and have it not snap off because I don't even know, like, like that's how much it's jiggling. That bothers me. I do not like that. I, I actually don't feel like this is a safe setup. I've never heard of anybody telling me that the camera broke because it snapped off or anything like that but it freaks me out and I think that it actually just might. So at this point, I still don't have the perfect grip. The Mantis Pod being the closest one. The Sony grip, actually, I, I like the Sony grip, especially because I can start and stop the recording, I can program a button, I can take a picture, you know, any of that happy horse shit, but it's just, it's not long enough. It needs to be just a little bit longer. 
it was slippery as shit. So I put little cutouts of that gun grip stuff on it. So that's fine. It's just this head is just too jiggly. And I don't know how I can get in there and change that. Or even if I could get inside to the mechanism, if I could even do anything about it. If only I had the capability, the skill set, the tools and the materials to build my own. Don't we all wish that sometimes? So that's where I am right now. I have this stupid training in a half an hour and then I'm done because I've turned all my deals in for the quarter and nothing else is coming in and I'm not doing anything else. I'm not doing anything else today. I'm not going to do jack shit tomorrow. I will do my normal stuff on Sunday and that's it. I am expecting some packages in the mail when they're coming in. I do not know. I haven't even gotten notification that anything shipped. So probably next week, better be next week. And then there'll be more stuff for me to show you. At some point, I'm going to have to retake all the pictures again of all the shit that I told you about yesterday, where I took all the pictures and I didn't have it all set up correctly. So I have it sitting here just like that. But now I'm going to have to throw that away and do another one because it's not March 24th now. It's March 25th. So at some point, probably this weekend, I, I will retake the damn pictures begrudgingly and get that all set up. But for now, oh, also this weekend is the Cherry Blossom Festival. So I'm sure my wife and I are going to go check that out tomorrow. And you'll get a great video tomorrow seeing all the beautiful cherry blossoms that we go see. Because every time I go there now, there are no cherry blossoms. So we're going to go check that out. And it's also a little bit warmer this time because last year it was freezing ass cold when the cherry blossoms popped and it, it, it wasn't enjoyable. So we'll, we'll deal with that tomorrow. But for now, I'm going to get some shit done before this stupid call and maybe eat lunch and, and then go out and get a couple of things done. So we'll be back. OK, kids, I have spent more time inside than I wanted to today, but all that sitting inside waiting, doing shit that needed to be done, has allowed the day to progress into gorgeous. Yes, it, I mean, I guess it's not really all that warm out. It's 65, which is warm enough, but it's now perfectly sunny blue sky. So yeah, it is also a day of new stuff. So you can't really see it all that well. Maybe you can, I don't know. I'm wearing my new cotton carrier setup. And although I don't have the A7R4 in final form, I mean, it's set up for it. I also found, and this really annoyed me, is that the old angled pieces that I had, the, like the, that fit inside this little notch here, that I used for the old cotton carrier, those damn things don't fit in the new one. And that's bullshit. I can't believe that they updated it and changed the freaking size. So now you can't use the old hardware. You win some, you lose some. So yeah, I got that set up. I have the A7 IV set up and that's just so that I can put it on here and I can carry it. And if I need to film something, I can film it, but I don't have it like, I'm not awkwardly holding it and trying to balance shit and this, that, and the other thing. So all this is new. I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna give it a whirl. Now this time I brought the A7R4 with the 200 to 600, but with the two times extender on it, because I haven't tried that yet by putting it up to my eye. I was going with the old way where I said it was like I was having a seizure and you couldn't see anything. I'm gonna give that a whirl today. Hopefully there's at least one bird there that I can practice on. The other thing that's new are my Clark boots. Now, yesterday I picked those up and last night I wiped them down with the Danner waterproofing stuff that I have and put them all back together today. They are so stiff that it's brutal. So brutal that I actually put on boot socks because they're thicker so I don't carve up my ankles and my feet and all that kind of shit from having to break these damn things in. They're going to have to be broken in anyways. And if they want to get to the point where my old ones were short of falling apart, it's going to take a lot of wearing. Now, since I walk all over the place and I'm always in Pleasure House Point or wherever it is that I'm walking, I thought, you know what? I got to start sometime, so I'm wearing them now. Hopefully, I don't have to be rescued and, and carted away because I have basically worn the bottom of my legs off. Knock on monkey wood there. So we're going to give that a whirl, but we're going to start breaking these damn things in. Let's go hit Pleasure House Point, break in the boots, break in the cotton carrier, and look at some birds. All right, kids. It was a pretty interesting day and actually pretty good day as far as day job stuff goes, other than the annoying training call that I forgot about. But I did get an awful lot accomplished. 
and uh, ended the quarter, you know, perfectly fine, even without the big deal. It's still a bummer that I didn't get the deal, but say la vie. After that, obviously, I decided to go to Pleasure House Point, and I was attempting to test if I could get any good shots with holding the camera up to my eye, because the last time it was just unusable. I'm gonna go right out and say it that it's it's not gonna work. The two times extender with that 200 to 600 handheld, no go. Every one of my shots is soft. The autofocus is incredibly slow, and sometimes it doesn't even work. It's, it's just too slow. And keep in mind, this was a bright sunny day. The IBIS uh, that I have up on my screen right now, I mean, at some points it was 10, 15 feet away from me, and I still couldn't get a very crisp shot because it, I mean, forget about eye autofocus. Now, granted, the A7R4 doesn't have bird eye autofocus, but it still, it just didn't focus like completely on the bird. It was always part of the bird maybe, but it kept jumping back and forth from grass and, and the water and, and all that kind of stuff. So bottom line is for me, the two times extender is a no-go with that 200 to 600. I would have been better off just having the 200 to 600. Not that I'm ever gonna use it again for that, but if I ever do in the future, I need to remember to bring the damn case with the cap so I could pop that damn thing off because there was a big ass Ibis there and he stood there for a long time. I could have got him in flight. I could have gotten a lot better shots of him than I did. I mean, I got shots and they'll be okay to post on like social media and stuff, but they are not, they're not really good shots. I also had a great egret that I was following and I couldn't almost ever get it in focus. It just kept focusing on the grass all around it or on the water behind it. I never got the damn bird perfectly in focus. It also took off and flew, flew right in front of me. And the autofocus, I just couldn't get it. So it was very frustrating, but that was the whole point of going and testing, is that I found out that that's just not gonna work. If I'm gonna go birding, I'm not taking the 70 to 200 with the two times extender, I'm taking the 200 to 600, because I think I got that down. So that's what I'm gonna be doing. So that's it for that. Two times extender with the 200 to 600, no go. The next thing, instead of me having to go out and buy some kind of weird device and all that kind of stuff, which I looked into, but it was only for Android. Doesn't work for iPhone or iOS or whatever. So I thought to myself, well, all right, so here's my wife's phone, her former phone. The 11 Pro works just fine. And because I forgot that I had downloaded and paid for Monitor Plus. So with Monitor Plus, you get all the features of it fully. And then I just took the I like the phone holder from the Mantis pod because I never use it. And it's like perfect for this. It, I mean, it just, it fits right in there and it, it holds it in a very secure way that I'm fine with. And then I had this small rig monitor holder that goes on a NATO rail. And since I had the NATO rail at the top of the cage for the A7 IV and I was using it with the handle, I thought to myself, well, I haven't been using the handle because it keeps hitting, you know, in the car and I got to take it off every time anyways. So I've just changed my, my flow to not, not have it on there. And I thought well, this would be perfect. So, I mean, I can throw this phone, which weighs nothing in my bag along with this whole setup. It doesn't take up any space. It doesn't add really any weight. And then I could just throw it on there if I need to. And now I can do everything with this app. <clears throat> Look it up. It's called Monitor Plus. I know for sure that it works with, with iOS because I got it before to use it with my, with my own phone. There is a little bit of lag. So, you know, you can see it, it's like, I, I think Sydney Yangzon did a test and it's like, it's, it's less than a second, which can be kind of maddening if you're, if you're, you know, really doing something crazy. But with this, I mean, you can literally, you know, set the camera somewhere and then I can look down here. I can change pretty much every setting and I can even start and stop recording from here. So, I mean, it's perfect. It's exactly what I was looking for. Yeah, I mean, it's a little laggy, but you know, that's the way it goes. So that's pretty cool. And that's really all I wanted to talk about as I wrap this up because it's already 10 after eight on Friday night. So that's pretty much it. That's all you get for today. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, leave them down below. As always, thank you for joining me. Be sure to like and subscribe and remember kids, forward and up.